What's that? Your vinyl collection is out of control. <laughs> there is no such thing. Oh, so if I heard you right, you want to make easy, affordable dividers for your record collection and you want to organize it either alphabetically or by genre. I can help. Hey guys and gals, it's Hannah. Welcome back and thank you for joining me. In this video, I will show you how to make record dividers using only a few materials. This is a fun way you can take pride in your collection and show it off. I'll be demonstrating how you can make genre specific and alphabetical record dividers while on a budget. Let's go over how I made my own genre specific record dividers. Recently, I bought three IKEA storage units for my vinyl collection and I came to the decision that I wanted to organize my whole collection by genre. That's just my personal preference. There is no right or wrong way to organize your own vinyl collection. Um, I've seen people do it alphabetically, by genre, um, chronologically. It's just whatever you want to do. First, you want to determine how many genre sections are going to be in your own collection. Then you'll know how many cheap, beat up records you're going to need to buy at your local Goodwill or thrift store. Remember, you're not going to be playing these, so just buy scratched up, beat up records. Let's go over some of the materials you're going to need for this method. First, you're going to need some glue. You can get some Elmer's clear glue. It comes in all different varieties. Personally, I found that I like using wood glue, which may seem kind of odd. This is just my personal preference. The glue is needed in order to glue the inside of the vinyl record to the jacket. So it'll be sticking out just like this. There's gonna be a little demonstration next to my noggin here, just to show you guys how you can glue the record to the jacket. Just remember not to use too much glue. If you do, it'll just kind of make this crackly sound when you move it. That's an easy first step, right? You're gonna need to remember this step for the alphabetical dividers, which I'm gonna show you how to make those later on in this video. The other item you need for the genre specific record dividers is stickers. And you can buy stickers in all shapes, sizes, colors, fonts. Um, I'm just showing you a few examples. I bought these at my local craft store, Hobby Lobby. I believe you can also get some from the dollar store. There's some more. As you can see, I've already used some of these up. When you put the stickers on, and again, there's going to be a little demonstration box, you want to put them on further enough from the jacket edge here. Because these will be sticking out of your shelves, you're gonna wanna see the description clearly. I'm gonna show you a few examples of ones I've made just to give you guys an idea. So I made a jazz and blues one, shoegaze, and two different ways here. I made an 80s divider. Um, it might be kind of hard to see because it's gold lettering, there you go. So the 80s. And then here we have a classic rock one. Those are just a few that I've made. You can be really creative with this. You can buy like musical instrument stickers, any other type of stickers you want in order to kind of exemplify that genre that's on your record. So now that I just showed you how to make genre specific record dividers, let's move on to the second method, which is alphabetical dividers. First, you need to go to your local thrift store or Goodwill and get 26 of these cheap, beat up vinyl records. One for each letter of the alphabet, of course. So you can create these dividers with either a can of spray paint and a large stencil, or just buy large letter stickers. Here are the materials you're gonna need for the spray paint stencil record dividers. First, get some stencil letters. You can see I've already spray painted some of these, but I found a pack of 26 of these at Hobby Lobby. They just look like this. Plus they come with letters and symbols in there as well. It was fairly cheap, it was only five bucks. You also need a can of spray paint. I chose metallic silver. You need some protective gloves for your hands. You need some clear tape in order to tape the stencil to the record. A Sharpie to clean up any leftover spray paint on the record. Also, safety first, you want to wear goggles to protect your eyeballs.
So after you've done the step of gluing the record to the inside of the jacket, like I showed you earlier, you want to actually tape the stencil to the record so it doesn't move. And this will help prevent bleeding from the spray paint, like in getting underneath that stencil. You don't want any excess spray paint on the record because it'll look sloppy and messy. You're also going to want to cover any part that is black on the record with a piece of paper or anything else when you spray paint it just so you don't get that spray paint all over. Then you just spray the paint onto the stencil, remove the stencil, and then you're done. You can clean up any mistakes or leftover paint with a Sharpie. And here's the finished product. So you can do this with each letter of the alphabet. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of using a can of spray paint and stencils, which is kind of messy, you can buy these large letter stickers. I actually bought these ones from the Dollar Tree. Now these are kind of frilly ones, but um, at your local craft store, I'm sure you can buy some cleaner, neater, simpler ones. I'm going to demonstrate how you can put the sticker on. And for the sake of this video, we're just going to use the letter W. W, of course, for the best band in the world, The Who. So just carefully remove the sticker from the sheet without ripping it. So I got my letter W. We're kind of going to put it in the center of the record while making sure it's kind of straight and pretty. And there you go. There's a sticker letter divider. Much easier than the spray paint method in my opinion, but just kind of play around and see what look you like best. All right, guys and gals, to wrap this video up, I just showed you some easy, affordable ways you can make your own record dividers for your collection. It's really easy to do this, plus you're saving loads of cash, right? Because I've seen other examples on Etsy and eBay. People are charging $100 or more for sets of these. Personally, I need that cash in order to buy more records to fill my shelves, being the addict that I am. Please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time. Later, Gators.